What is up, guys? Sword Saint Onion coming back at you from the land of shadow. Now, last episode, we made it through Belurat Tower Settlement. We made it all the way to the boss. Um, divine Lion Puppet Beast guy. And he just fucking stomped the shit out of us and he like two shots us, two, three shots us. And we like probably would take over a hundred hits to kill him. So we're going to get some more. We decided we're going to get some more, um, what are they called? Skadu fragments. And we'll go back once, maybe we're at like 10 or so. We're only at three right now or actually they increase each time the amount you need so maybe actually we would do like I don't know we'll see what are we at right now as far as our attack power 802 so maybe once it's I don't know around a G or so depending on how much you get each time so I think we were going to be able to, yeah, make our way up that path there to see what's going on over there. So that's kind of what we had in mind for this episode. And again, I don't know if I said this already. I know I didn't say thanks for joining me on this one. Thank you. Thank you for any, even just one minute of time watching my content is awesome. I appreciate it. Um... I hope that uh, can't think and play. This, can't talk and play at the same time. I hope that my play style is acceptable for everybody. You know, getting to a boss, getting stomped a few times, and then going elsewhere to explore is you know, it's kind of like the it's like how the game was intended to be played. I feel because that's what they. I mean, that's not me saying that. That's like what they kept pushing. Everybody's like, oh, if you get stuck on an area, just go do something else. So, like, you know, that's what I do. Um, and, yeah, I we, guys, I promise you, we are going to kill every boss. Like, I'm really disappointed that there aren't trophies. I was really hoping for a, a trophy set. We're going to kill every fucking boss. We're going to kill every fucking mini boss. It's all going to get killed. <laughs> we're going to kill everything. And we're going to find everything we absolutely can. So have no fear. It's just a different, you know, journey to the end for me and us. Then rather than if you, you know, I was thinking, you know, there's Asmon Gold where he'll just throw himself at a boss over and over and over on video till he wins. And I was like, that, I'm not going to play that way. And then there's Fighting Cowboy who just like goes through absolute souls better and wrecks shit, you know. And then there's fucking like, uh, you know, the the super uber experts who do the zero hit runs like oh who does those <coughs> i don't really watch those kind of runs i like the lore throughs and fighting cowboys run throughs and asmon gold is just hilarious because his his fails are the best um so anyway where was i where was i going with that guys yeah, it's just, I, I'm just, I just, it's a different style, you know, different style of play, but I'm having a fucking blast, so I hope you guys are too, hold on, I want to look out that vista, this last bat. just a beautiful vista no matter where you look, oh, is this the, is this the painting? Um, so after you look at something, it goes away. Oh, no.
Visiting the location depicted. We're close. We are close to that, guys. Is it back further? Or is it like around the corner, maybe? Grace ahead, but be wary of pack. Calmness required ahead, therefore be wary of group. Wow. Fortnite. So, Mikola, is that the shadow tower then that he tried to shed his flesh in order to get in? Let's take a look around, see what we got. New enemy over there. Got bats. So that painting has got to be along this cliffside. Lots of bats. afraid of no bats I see the grace I thought uh, I didn't my prediction was that there wasn't going to be graces in the land of shadow because I thought it was like a land untouched by grace so I thought the Mikola's crosses were going to be the graces of the land of shadow So what do we got here? Some more draped rooms. Let's see what, what this place is called here. Cliff Road Terminus. Okay, so we have a forest area, some runes, and then some shit that way. So let's go, I guess, check this forest first. Let's see what's going on. There's a pretty big enemy right there. Man, I really wish I didn't even watch, like, the trailers now, because I know there's, like, cert, like, there's that horseback glaive-wielding thing, you know, that's, like in an underground area we haven't. Wow, look at this ogre. God damn, that's great enemy design. Oh my god. <coughs> He's like riding on horseback and he throws like that moon bone at the player. There's obviously Mesmer and then of course I made the mistake of watching the newest trailer before playing the DLC and that had that fucking that massive like it looked like kind of like a crippled but not crippled dragon like one of its arms was all fucked like but it was like a weapon I don't know it just looked insane so there's that and then there's Mesmer now I heard there's 10 major bosses so that's only like one, two, three, four. And I thought the the flame pyre uh, enemy was going to be a named enemy, but that didn't turn out to be the uh, true. So who knows? Maybe some of those aren't. I, the dragon's got to be. That's got to be one of like the the boss of all bosses. And then there's also that Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, enemy in the trailer too oh man oh man pontiff sullivan when i first played dark souls 3 pontiff sullivan took me fucking forever to beat and it's still one of the harder fights in that game for me 
But we'll see when we get to Dark Souls 3. Um, quick shout out to... I think they might have switched over to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree now, but another channel who I know, YouTuber I know, who doesn't mind I do this shout out. <laughs> Stolen, S T O L Y N, is doing a Dark Souls 3 Let's Play on his channel right now. So go check that out um, if you'd like to. Good guy. Stolen. Good guy. Hope you're having a good summer, by the way, dude. So it looks like we found a gravesite on the cliff here. Lots of new types of crafting materials and stuff. I think we've gotten one new recipe book that allows us to craft these big motherfuckers, which are awesome. So hopefully we find a ton more of those pots. Gorgeous view ahead. Look at the sky. Like, oh, what a great thumbnail that would be. Let's just sit here for like 10 seconds. Maybe we'll get this as our thumbnail. I need a sip anyway. Let me, uh, all right, confession time. I'm not a smoker, but I do use nicotine in these pouches. So if you ever hear a little tin clicking and unclicking, that's me opening and closing my can of nicotine pouches to tuck one in so yeah i quit smoking um this july it's going to be four years ago and you know it's true what they say you know there are days that do go by where i don't think about smoking but i think about smoking all the time like anytime you see it in a movie, you're like, damn, that character looks really cool. And they look like they feel good right now because they're smoking a cigarette. But you know, you know that if you have a cigarette, you're going to feel like absolute shit. Because they make you sick. It's poison. It's fucking poison. I even get sick from these nicotine pouches sometimes. And I think the same about alcohol, too. I, I drink here and there, you know. Definitely not every day. Definitely not every weekend. But I enjoy, like, a little bit of whiskey here and there. But that shit is poison. Well, if you overdo it, it'll kill you. That's, that's the definition of poison, isn't it? So, anyway... Um, now that being, that all being said, well, we'll just leave it at that. So where the fuck am I? Okay, we're right next to these, <coughs> this rune site. Or is it like a castle? It looks like more draped, uh, wait, what's... Should we be going down that way? Yeah, let's go that way. What is, what do these messages say? Precious item ahead, therefore time for sniper. Precious item ahead, in short, try bow. Try ranged battle ahead. Are they talking about that? They have to be talking about that jar. How fucking cool would it be if we hit it with our, um, great bow. I think I know how to aim it. I think it's got to be like right there. Boom. Oh, there's another ogre. 
The ogres aren't so bad. Really fucking cool design. It looks like the uh, cave troll from uh, Lord of the Rings Fellowship. Oh, really. Space. Oh, you didn't really get a good look there, but that first one we killed, we got a really good look. Ooh, string sellers bell bearing. Offer to twin maiden husks for new item access. The bell bearing of an of a horn scent string seller who did not survive the war. Offer to the twin maiden husks round table hold to gain access to found item string. Really? Seriously? What exact now we found some string too. Is this gonna be more important than often carried by demi humans? I wonder if that's important. Demi humans. Its relation to the demi humans. I wonder if Mr. Height is gonna have some sort of resolution to his quest. Is, didn't he end up never having any sort of wrap up to his quest line? Kenneth Height, Ford Height. And what about the dude who's looking for the guys who killed his daughter? Prospect Town. Okay, so to the right around to the right is going to be the front entrance of this area. Prospect Town. So is this like a mining community? Are we uh, prospecting or is it a different type of prospect and I'm just an idiot? Because I know, like, prospectors, aren't they, like, gold uh, guys who pan for gold? Let's get a good look here. Where are we going to be able to get up? Right there, it looks like. Ding, ding. Okay, let's just start going in. And then... Wow. Is that a different peak? Or is that the same peak we had already seen? Because we had already seen the uh, a crazy mountain range somewhere else. Oh yeah, I don't know. That's gotta be it. Is this the same type of troll? Yeah. Just one of you? No, there's one there too. Come on. What kind of weapon do you have? I tried to tuck one away so you get double teamed. Not today, trolls. love to get some troll lore. Who are these trolls? Where did they uh, come from? Can we get on torrent? We can get on torrent here. So we have to keep that in mind for platforming reasons. Got some beast blood. Now down there, okay, that is the next area we were going to check out. What's going on over there? Okay, it looks like one of those spirit, revered spirit uh, ash piles. It'll be good for you to tell. We need some fragments, though. We'd like some fragments. This is incredible. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind how f insanely much I'm going to be praising this game the whole time we play it. The incredible thing is, like, you see all this shit, you know you can, like, we can, all of that is going to be explorable. 
There's something there. There's something there. There's something there. There's something up there in the distance. Not to mention, I guarantee you we're going up the tree. I guarantee you we're going up the fucking tree eventually. There's shit there. We're going up to the top of the mountain, I bet. There's that whole lower area we saw. Guys, this could end up being like a fucking more than 50 part episode series longer than my regular Shadow of the Earth Tree series. That being said, when we're done with Shadow of the Earth Tree, we've got to complete the base game and get, and that'll be my platinum, which is fucking cool. I'm missing one trophy, which is just the regular ending. I've gotten all the special endings. So I just have to become Elden Lord. So we are going to continue. What do these messages say? First off, beautiful all the more praise the Elden Ring. Yeah. See, look, that whole down area, too. <clears throat> Miyazaki said roughly the size of Limgrave or a little bigger. And yeah, I mean, this area is like kind of as big as Limgrave. Or this is like Weeping Peninsula side. This is bigger. This area here is bigger than Weeping Peninsula. Especially because this whole, this legacy dungeon is dense. Massive and dense. So, oh my god, look at all the fucking ogres there are there. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was the weakest possible jump I could have made. That one spell here, the disc uh, sorcery, would be so badass. Okay, there's at least a stake of America. Um, these controls also are not that terrible. That's a red eye troll. Oh, he's he's not happy. Run and get the item. Somber four. Okay. I'm fucked. So these are special trolls. They're using, are they servants of Moog? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we're right there at least. Okay. We don't ever use Terra Magica, guys. It's really dumb that we don't. I just, it's just an extra step that's annoying. I don't know. Plus, I don't, I really don't sit in one spot either. I mean, you gotta kinda keep moving. With my build, anyway. I don't know if that's how every, cause we're not rocking a shield. Like, we're not, I don't know. It just seems like we need to keep playing the way we are. Where we are has not involved Terra Magic. So it's a great spell. It's one of the best spells, probably. It's just, you know, not for us. I mean, the Sword of Night and Flames are a fucking raw as hell. So. Not a terribly far run back. Which is good. 
So this isn't like a full dungeon. This is kind of just like a micro experience. So wait, did we not get the stake of America or why didn't we get revived here? Is it because we got killed over there? Be nice if we can get all these guys to kind of fall off the edge and shit. Uh oh, I cornered myself. No, I didn't. <sighs> That's fucking awesome. Oh my god, they can get up here. See, I let it go early that time, and it definitely was worth it. Drink. You're not a demi human. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, I lost all my runes again, guys. Damn it. That time I don't even know how many we lost. Or this time, I should say. Okay, so our one spell doesn't do a whole lot. Let's try a uh, good old dragon. Breath. Oh my god, this is so excellent. This game, this, this is like Elden Ring 2 almost, guys. This is fucking awesome. There's already so much enemy variety. There's so much content already. It's like unbelievable. Oh my god, the combos! Look at him. He is an ugly motherfucker. Let's go. Let's get that as our thumbnail. We're going back to... I hope everybody also that uh, watched Tunic uh, liked the thumbnails. Uh, that was probably the most time-consuming part. Um, all that was all, That's all hand-drawn by me. Hand-drawn and colored by me. Now, I'm not saying it's like, you know... A masterpiece of art or anything but it did take a lot of effort and it was you know it turned out well i thought so a lot of fun um tunic by the way is a really great game really awesome so if you have not played tunic after uh shadow of the earth tree i urge you to go try tunic out excellent little game I would say I would put it up there. Well, I would not put it up there with Hollow Knight because Hollow Knight is like an elite game as far as I'm concerned. Um, elite level game. And you better believe we're going to be playing Hollow Knight on the channel. Um, uh, I'd say it's close though. I'm trying to think of another game, kind of indie-ish, indie game that's similar that I like just as much as Tunic, and I can't really, I didn't, now saying I didn't like it as much as um, Hollow Knight sounds like I, I didn't like it, but I loved uh, Tunic. I'm going to stop rambling, I feel like I'm like, I'm starting to ramble. It's one of the best indie experiences you can have. We'll just put it that way. I think. Oh man, these trolls are fucked up. Wow, okay, there's, I wonder if there's gonna be a boss in this. Be nice if I can lure them kind of one at a time. Chest. So I want to kill the trolls. 
Um, I think we're gonna do that before we try to open the chest. We should be able to. Just gotta isolate them. There we go, Blood Fiend's arm. So these are the Blood Fiends that we heard about, I think. We did hear about Blood Fiends from somewhere. Take a minute to read that lore. Have we been down there? Yeah, that was that forest area. Fit some back in here. Um, okay. Weapon used by the blood fiends. An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. That is so cool. That is so cool. How many we got left? One, two, three, four. Is this guy gonna come on his own maybe? We could just bring in Lutel. Let's just fucking arm up and uh, obviously throw this. Bring Lutel. Oh, Lutel is a monster now. Let's go, Lutel. Cut him down, baby. It's a red, it's a red-eyed one. <coughs> That's okay, you'll need our help. Don't worry about it. All right, we got all the goddamn trolls. Beautiful. We can check out what the hell they were doing here. Sanguine Amaryllis. These stones are important. We keep seeing them all over the place. Seek right. Good. Is that what that meant? Or right over here? Oh yeah, there was that item down here. We got that though. What was that? I don't know. It must have not been anything too crazy. Lutel, thank you for your help. You were awesome like always. Alright, let's see what's in the chest. Woohoo! Could this be a talisman? Uh, might be a talisman in the chest. No door. Door head tried gesturing. A gesture. Um, do we believe that, guys? What do you guys think? We'll try it. Outer God Heirloom. Raises Arcane. A talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god. So some figures at the bottom praying to a massive something being the clan who lost everything in the in the great fires peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered... Oh, God damn it! The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. 
So that, what, they just like kind of gave up and just decided to start worshipping it or something? So do we want to try this gesture thing, or do we think that's... First of all, we need to equip the Ring of Mikola. And let's go ahead and try it. thinking, uh, come on, Lutel. Neat. All right. So I think we're done here, guys. Um, so now we can kind of check what's going on over here. I think we'll be able to get up here. Maybe church, get, get a couple more upgrade items and stuff. So let's warp to this bonfire. Side of grace, excuse me. And then let's kind of take a look here. So we're gonna wanna check this. And then like this could be our path. I'm guessing we're gonna come up here, maybe. And then I'm guessing there's also gonna be a way down there too, because this game is insane. So we'll just start there. I think I did run over here. Did I not? What's that? Some eagles. Yeah, I think I was over there. Lots to see, people. Lots to see. Oh, boy. What kind of twisted tur... I'm, I want them to do, like, a, a snapping turtle enemy so bad. Like, a giant fucking... Na like, they did with the scorpion, and they did with the... Um, you know, all the other giant-type regular animal enemies. Scorpion, they got fucking giant crabs, giant lobsters, they got fucking giant slugs. Giant spiders. They've had a couple massive snakes. Oh no! Turtle! Guys, I will not kill a turtle. I'm not I'm not killing any of the turtles, guys. I just don't think it's it's like part of my Elden Ring characters, you know, belief system is around turtle worship. I love the turtles. And, I, and in general, turtles in real life are super fucking cool too. Another very cool view. There's just so much to see. Man. This is what happens when From Software is two years to work on a DLC. They just fucking make it the best possible thing that anybody could have hoped for. All right, we're going towards icon number two. Some deep woods. What's that there? Was that a fucking rune bear? Oh no, it's a... What the fuck is that? A... Guys, did you see how big that fucking lamb was? Oh my god. I don't want to kill that. That is so cool. But I just worry that it's going to attack me. Come on, guys. If I kill you, the big one's gonna come at me. I know it. Yep, here it comes. 
Oh my god, it's a badass. Oh my god. Run. Run. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. We were just talking about giant variants of regular animals, and then they fucking drop the giant goat on us. Unreal. Guys, unreal. That's so fucking awesome. So let's take a look from this angle up here. Make sure we didn't miss anything on this peak. Um, I don't really want to kill the ju I mean, we probably should, right? Just at least once. To uh, get revenge. Where's our. There we are. Lightning striking all over. So this is. Can we. Can't even open our map here. Guys, I don't want to fight. I'm just here to explore. There's our starting grace. So, okay, we're trying to... We kind of want to get up there. Here's our third icon marker. Rats! We got rats, so it looks like we can go up right here, but let's go around this way and see what's going on with the rats. Oh man, he's a, he's a strong rat. It seems that rats also have like unlimited points. You got a big guy around here somewhere. What are rats doing up here? Now, you know this is going to lead to a whole new section. I knew there was going to be a pathway through here. Oh wait, maybe this will just take us to like this. And then that up way would just take us to like this. Let's see what's over here really quick. Some weed. See like what is going on out there? Are those like wrecked ships there's an island there that's cool ambush ahead of course be wary of an enemy first off right we're at 43 minutes already oh dear god there he is One of those fucking tough guys, too. He's got a grab. Oh, so who? Okay. I don't know what the hell just happened, but we got him. <laughs> uh, and we got a piece of lore on him, too, it looks like. Wrist guards of the tower's aesthetics, which embody their commitment 
to an austere existence of strict self-control in order to ascend from their mortal flesh into tutelary deities of the land they heighten their spirituality through severe ascetic training wow okay so there's kind of a lot there to unpack um they yeah i don't i'm, I'm not really sure I'm not sure on that one guys um they're like i like we said they're they're they seem to be like monks on some sort of uh you know uh, you know how monks are they give up everything they devote themselves blessed do blessed blue do talisman slowly restores fp talisman depicting the blessed boon that is a droplet of the blue luminescent sap of the Erd tree it was once thought that the blessed sap of the Erd tree would drip from its boughs forever that age of plenty swiftly came to an end and with time the Erd tree became more an object of faith that is a pretty famous line of lore if you're in the smog town realm of youtube viewership god look at that down there Is that like, that's like, oh my God, swampy area maybe? Oh my God. Who is that huge dragon? What else is going on in the church? Wait, what church is this? Church of Benediction. Uh, a headless America statue. So we do know that, um, I don't know how we know this, I forget what tells us, but we know that Mer this is where America first became a god. Oath Seeker, Knight, Greaves, Gauntlets, Armor, Helm, Pata. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a piercing weapon. A weapon comprised of a linear double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard wielded by the Oath Seeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. An Oath Seeker Knight Helm, black with gold ornamentation, these knights set off on quests of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in per perfect lifelong devotion. I, I think that's really fucking cool. Higher physical, lower everything else. But it just, it looks so cool though. I mean, we can change it up for a little while, can't we? We'd be heavy loading. So let's just stick with that for a little while. That looks really cool. Fashion souls all the way, people. Um, is that the, that's like the, that's the starting cave. Oh, so cool. So we do have to go around and go up to the very top up there. look over here yep there it is man so okay that castle might be like more castle morny type 
That doesn't look like a legacy dungeon. That looks like a legacy dungeon for sure. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, so I know I have viewers who aren't privy to all Elden Ring terms and shit. Legacy dungeons are the like giant dungeon experiences like Stormbound Castle or Belly Rot or uh, the Academy of Raya Lucaria. And then you have like smaller dungeon kind of experiences that are like Castle Morn or Castle Soul or like the uh, um, this was kind this was a even smaller kind of dungeon experience the scorched runes this is just the tip of the iceberg guys we've barely uh, scratched the surface and we're already on episode 5 which is really promising like, I, I just want this to be like never ending I never want Elden Ring to end until the next FromSoft game comes out which is like another exciting prospect because all of their announced projects are now out so we do not know what is coming next and like all the buzz now is like Miyazaki said like Elden Ring is close to my ideal game but it's not my ideal game yet so it's like what but like I said I'd like a more horror um, leaning game and I think that's how Miyazaki would tend to lean to it because I think he said while Elden Ring is as close to his ideal game as he's gotten so far his two favorite games are Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And I think those two, even more so than Dark Souls 2 and 3, Dark Souls 1 is more horror-ish than 2, 3, than Sekiro, than Elden Ring, and Bloodborne for sure. Okay, Incursion Painting. This painter is said to have captured... Now, do all the paintings say the same? Yeah. Incursion. Cool. So that's someplace we have not seen yet, it looks like. Um, okay. Now. I don't think we saw that we could get down here. Did we? I don't think so. So I think we're done in this little leg, this peninsula leg here. Um, where to next? We rode kind of along here. So I guess next would be like this kind of section here. So we're going to head here. Um, should we just make sure there's no way down right here really quick before we fast travel out of here? Let's see, was there a way to get... I don't think so, but let's check. We can fast travel from here also. No, that's like way down there. Okay. All right, then we're gonna head to this Sight of Grace. Now wait a minute, also, can we get up here? Or do you think we get up here from around here? Let's take a look at that too, actually, before we peace out of here.
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way up from this side. Okay, then. We're hitting 55 minutes. <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't found any, like, dungeons, really. But we will. So, okay, for next episode, uh, we're going to hold off on crossing the Great Bridge. I'd like to finish exploring kind of this side of the canyon. This is a huge canyon that we kind of saw a couple episodes ago. So I think we work our way just up the road here to this settlement, what looks like a settlement. Um, there's certainly something right here, it looks like. So maybe we do like, we follow the road to here and we do like two, three, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, thank you for joining me yet again. There's our trajectory for next episode over there. Oh, it looks kind of lowered. Interesting. Oh, yeah. There's a cliff here. So, yeah. We will head that way next episode. Guys, thanks for joining me. We're kind of hunting for... Um, let's see. Where do they live? These. We're hunting for blessings. And a new weapon, maybe, that we can try. A int faith sword, hopefully. Um... Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe if you had fun. Um, comment your Shadow of the Earth Tree experiences so far. Um, right now, it's still launch day, Friday. Um, I think episode one and two are from Thursday, midnight ish. And then from here, from then on, it's Friday, launch day episodes. I think I'm going to start uploading on Monday, though. Just so I can, I'm going to get a, just a ton of recording in and then we'll, you know, go from there. I really am interested in getting to that area up there. That looks really like foresty and green and kind of, oh, look at all that shit though. I mean, uh, even on the map, it's really green up there. I'm guessing that's what this is. So yeah, that looks just really cool. All right, guys, Sword Saint Onion out. See you on the next one.